Subtracting sign numbers. When you were a child, you probably thought of subtraction as taking away. If you had five blocks and your brother took away three of them, you had two left. That is how you learned that five minus three equals two. Five blocks take away three blocks leaves two blocks. The takeaway model works for subtracting positive numbers because you can always visualize starting with a large group of objects and then subtracting, taking away some of them. But what if you try to subtract negative numbers? How can you take away negative three of something? Well, by using two color counters, you'll see that we can take away negative three chips. Two color counters help us to subtract positive and negative numbers with our familiar takeaway model. Let's go to the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives website. We choose Numbers and Operations from the left menu and then scroll down to grades 3 through 5 to find Color Chips Subtraction. I'll assume you've already seen the Adding Sign Numbers video and have practiced using color chips to add sign numbers, so I won't go through all the details of how this website works now. We first click User in the lower left so we can work our own problems here instead of the ones the computer generates. Let's start by subtracting two positive numbers to see how this takeaway model works with the color chips. We'll subtract 5 minus 3. So type those two numbers in the spaces, 5 minus 3, then press Continue. Here are our counters. So we start now by dragging five positive counters, the black ones, into the circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then press Continue. Now we need to press continue again and notice there's a takeaway bin on the left. This is where we put the counters that we take away. So let's drag three of the chips into the takeaway bin. And press continue. Now it's time for our answer. Well, there are two positive chips left in the circle, so the answer is positive two. Type in 2, then press check. Good job, it says. Now that wasn't surprising, was it? Let's do another problem. Now let's subtract two negative numbers. Negative 5 minus negative 3. We type those in, then press continue. So we start with five negative chips in the circle. These are the red ones, are the negatives. and then we press continue and the takeaway bin appears. We're subtracting three negatives so we take three of these and put them in the negative in the takeaway bin. Then press continue. So what is left in the circle now? There are two negatives left in the circle. The answer to negative five minus negative three is negative two. Good. Okay, so far, were you surprised by this last example? We took three negatives away from the five negatives, and the result was two negatives. We used the takeaway model for subtraction. But what if we want to subtract positives from negatives or negatives from positives? Well, we can still use the takeaway model. Let's do a few more examples and see how this works. We'll model negative 5 minus 3. Now we have to drag 5 negative chips into the circle. And then continue. Well, what are we asked to subtract here? We're asked to subtract 3 from negative 5. We need to take away three positive chips, but there are no positive chips in the circle. Let's press continue and see what happens. 
the two chips seem to have linked together. The directions tell us, click and drag enough pairs of positive and negative chips to the circle so that you can take away three positive chips. So we call this pair a neutral pair. Notice that each neutral pair stays linked until we get it into the circle and then the two split apart. We need three neutral pairs. Now what's the value of all the chips in the circle? We have eight negative chips and three positives. But each of the three positives made a neutral pair with one of the negatives and the value of each neutral pair is zero. So the total value of the chips in the circle is still negative five just like it was before we dragged in the three neutral pairs. Okay, now press continue, and here's our takeaway bin. What are we subtracting? We're subtracting three, three positives. So drag the three positives into the takeaway bin. Press continue, and it's time to type in the answer. So how many counters are in the circle now? There are eight negatives, so the answer is negative eight. Let's check. Good, that's it. Negative five minus three equals negative eight. In the next example, we'll subtract a negative number from a positive number. Let's do five minus negative three. Now we start by dragging five positives into the circle. Continue. Can we subtract three negatives? Not yet. There are no negatives to take away. But if we drag in some neutral pairs, then we'll have negatives that we can take away. So we drag in three neutral pairs, press continue to get the takeaway bin, and now we can have three negatives to take away. What's left? Well, now there are eight positive counters in the circle. So five minus negative three equals eight. We'll do one last example, and then you can practice on your own. Let's model negative three minus negative five. Do you think you know the answer already? Can you picture what will happen with the color chips? Well, let's see. We start by dragging three negatives into the circle. Then continue. We have to subtract five negatives. There are three negatives in the circle, but that's not enough to take five away. So what can we do? We need to drag in two neutral pairs. This gives us five negatives that we can take away. So let's continue to get the takeaway bin and now we take away five negatives. And what's the result? Negative three minus negative five equals two. Okay, now it's time for you to do some on your own. You might go to the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives website or draw the colored chips on your paper as you work each problem.